Get up, wake up. Don't live a life as a lazy person. That's what Proverbs says to us today as we continue our walk through the book of Proverbs in this weekly wisdom. We're gonna look at Proverbs chapter six, verses six to 11. Listen to the heartbeat of this passage. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander, no overseer, no ruler. Yet it stores up its provisions in summer and gathers its food at harvest. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. And poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. What a warning that we should pay attention to. Uh, th this passage calls us to, to be attentive, to wake up, to not let laziness take over. That word sluggard, not one we use much these days, but it's, that's the lazy person, the person who always looks for the path of least resistance and the easiest way to go. And, and so just a couple quick thoughts. This passage says, be self-motivated. It says, look at the ants. There's not somebody, you know, cracking the whip, telling them where to go, but they're moving. When you, when you see ants building an ant house, they're all moving, they're moving fast. Get some action in your life. Beware of laziness. Beware of oversleeping as a regular part of your lifestyle. It doesn't say don't sleep well. As a matter of fact, the Bible talks about Sabbath and resting, but the point is don't let sleep become your primary hobby and the goal of your life. And I love at the end of this passage, and, and this is why I believe that God is giving this to us, is there's this warning. Poverty could come your way. Lack could come your way. Laziness almost always leads to lack. It leads to poverty. So here's the invitation. Wake up, pay attention. This week, watch yourself. Study yourself. Are you drawn to the path of least resistance? What's the least I can do to squeak by? Or are you ready to work and try to produce things with your life? And recognize that sometimes people end up with very little, sometimes, not always, with very little because they've worked very little. And sometimes people end up with more because they've worked hard. That's not a commentary on all of economy because some people work very, very hard and end up in tough places. But, there's a, but Proverbs gives general themes and general truths. And if you live a lazy life, there's a good chance that poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. So Lord, this is our prayer that we will be people who work hard, that are industrious, that we will beware of the temptation to laziness in a world that sometimes lifts that up as almost a virtue. But Lord, let us work hard and see the fruit of that. And I pray specifically for those who are working hard or trying hard and they're not getting on top of things financially. Provide for them and watch over them as well. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you for worship. If you're part of another church, get engaged in your, your, your local church and have a great time there.